New at 6, we're taking a deeper dive into a judge's decision to temporarily block the Iowa law that bans some books from school libraries. KCCI's Bo Bowman read that 46-page ruling that explains why the judge made the decision he did and what comes next. Bo? Well, Stacey, two of the three provisions were blocked by U.S. District Judge Stephen Locker. That one will, the one that will remain in place is the section that requires notification to parents if their, if their child requests accommodation for their gender identity. In the lawsuit, student plaintiffs claim the law causes them to, quote, close off forms of expression in which they use to engage. The judge ruled that those plaintiffs did not have the legal standing to challenge this specific provision because all of them are already reportedly out to their parents. For example, teachers will have to inform parents if their student decides to use a pronoun different than the one they are registered as. Now, the judge did decide to place an injunction on the two other sections of the law. Locker calls the provision banning books with sex acts, quote, incredibly broad. He says under this rule, many books, award-winning novels, and even books that appear in advanced placement exams would fall under that classification. Even sex acts that played major roles in political campaigns or those that served as the basis for impeaching a sitting president. The judge claims the confusion has led some school districts and educators to err on the side of removing books out of fear of being penalized for failing to do so. Locker says this provision is unlikely to satisfy the First Amendment under any standard when the case goes to trial. The judge has a similar interpretation for the part forbidding programs, promotions, and instructions for gender identity and sexual orientation, writing it is, quote, wildly overbroad. He wrote in his ruling that due to the way the law is written, teachers wouldn't be able to use cisgender terms, referring to students as boys and girls, as well as transgender or LGBTQ plus terms. Locker says this means they couldn't refer to boys and girls bathrooms because boy or girl is an example of gender identity. He says the teachers wouldn't be allowed to refer to themselves as Mr. or Mrs. Locker said this would lead to the law being enforced arbitrarily and the challenges against it are likely to succeed because the law is too vague. Now we did reach out to the school districts named in the lawsuits. A statement from Norwalk Community School District reads, the recent decision along with the additional information presented during the hearing provides school districts with clearer gu guidance on Senate File 496 and its intended purpose. The Norwalk School District is currently seeking further guidance from our legal counsel, but we are fully committed to complying with the judge's decision within the next several days. Urbandale Schools responded, but told us they were not able to comment on pending lit litigation. West Des Moines Schools did not respond to our request for comment. Tomorrow afternoon, the Department of Education is hosting a public forum for feedback on the op application of the law and how to enforce it. We confirmed today that meeting is still on. It's at 2.30 in the state boardroom at the Grimes State Office Building. Stacy.